Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marie and I'm so glad that you clicked on today's video. I am so excited because today I am sharing with you how to make dairy-free milk. Over the last couple of years, I have definitely reduced my intake of dairy milk. I do have it every single morning in my coffee, only a little splash of it. But then for the rest of the day, I never drink cow milk. When I do need milk for certain recipes, whether it's for baking or to make a smoothie I have always been using dairy-free milks for the last couple of years now when I found out that I can make my own I was really excited about that because of course in dairy-free milks that you do buy at the grocery store there are a lot of preservatives in them you know in order to keep the milk good for a long period of time but obviously those aren't the best for you so the fact that you can make it at home and it is so easy not to mention it's kind of fun too. Today I will be sharing with you how to make three different milks. We will first be starting off with oat milk, then coconut milk, and finally we will end off with almond milk. I am so excited for today's video. If you are too, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post twice a week on Mondays and on Thursdays and I post so many different videos all on health and wellness. Now without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with this video. So I have here my my Nutribullet. I have been using this blender for years now and it is still working perfectly fine. I highly recommend it. I will have it linked down below if you guys are interested. Of course to make oat milk the first thing we will be going in with is rolled oats. So you will need half a cup of that. Now keep in mind that if you do want to make more than what I am showing you today, all you need to do is just double the ingredients that I am using and you will make double the amount. I will have everything written in the description box in case you guys miss something. So the first thing we need is half a cup of rolled oats. Then you will need one tablespoon of raw agave syrup or you can use honey as well. Now, I'll be honest, I kind of eyeball this, but I would say to use around a tablespoon. Next, you'll need a little splash of vanilla extract. What I like to do is just put some in the cap. And that is it. And the last ingredient is two cups of water. Let's go ahead and close her up and we'll blend her for 20 seconds. Now, if your blender does have different settings for the speed, I would put it on the high speed. 20 seconds later, you are going to stop that. Now, get yourself a nut milk bag or a cheese cloth bag, I believe it's called. I got these from Amazon. They are really good and affordable. I'll have them linked down below if you guys are interested. And we are going to strain this in this bag. I do like to use gloves when straining this, just not to get my hands dirty, but make sure that if you do choose to wear gloves, that you wash them. What I also love about these cloths is that they are reusable, so all you have to do is just throw them in the wash with your normal laundry and and wash them and then reuse them. So making your own milk is also good for the environment. And now the last step is just to pour it into your favorite mason jar. And just like that, we have homemade oat milk. So easy to make, it is delicious, and it's just so much healthier for you. Now you wanna put this in the fridge, and this will be good for four days. Now let's go ahead and make coconut milk, which is my personal favorite. Here I have some unsweetened organic coconut shavings that I got from Amazon. It is from the brand Prana. I buy so many things from this company, I love them. So let's go in with half a cup of coconut, a little splash of vanilla, And now we'll go ahead and put one and a half cups of warm water and a little dash of Celtic sea salt. Let's go ahead and blend her up once again for about 30 seconds. And now we are going to follow the exact same steps as we did with the oat milk. So I'm just gonna put on some gloves. Mm, this smells amazing. Thank you. 
And there you have it, fresh coconut milk. We have reached the last dairy-free milk that we will be making today, and that is almond milk. So the first thing that you need is half a cup of raw almonds that you will soak for four hours in hot water. Next, you'll need one and a half cups of warm water, a pinch of vanilla extract, about a tablespoon of agave syrup or honey, whichever you prefer. And we are also going to put some Ceylon cinnamon in here. And now we will follow the same exact steps. Make sure to squeeze until the last drop. Don't let any goodness be left behind. <laughs> It smells delicious, it's nice and foamy. I can never go back to buying dairy-free milk. And I'm sure once you try these recipes, you won't either. I'm not even trying to sell you something today, I'm just telling you it is that amazing. And there we have it, our three dairy-free milks. Here we have our beautiful oat milk, coconut milk, and almond milk. I think my favorite one has to be coconut, just because in general, I love coconut and use it for so many different things. But let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and what other types of milks I should try. Something I really want to try is making pistachio milk. Not only have I never tried drinking that, but I just love pistachio. So I think that is going to be the next thing I have to try. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you guys try these recipes out, please tag me in your Instagram stories. I would love to see them. Like this video if you enjoyed it and if you want me to make more of these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all my future videos. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll just catch you guys in the next one. Bye!